What's up everybody, Tony with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be answering one simple question. Is the brand new Apple Studio Monitor just as good as the older 2019 iMac 5K Monitor? We're going to be looking at contrast ratio differences, brightness differences, sound quality differences, and the height of each monitor. So go ahead and grab your snacks, sit back and relax, and enjoy the video. So right off the bat, I will tell you that there is definitely a height difference between the two monitors. Now the iMac does have huge bezels and it has a huge chin at the bottom here and you can see how much more real estate there is uh, with the Apple Studio monitor but if the if you had an iMac prior and it sit too low already the Apple Studio monitor actually sits a little lower than the iMac screen does so if you needed to raise up the iMac you're definitely going to need to raise up uh, the Apple Studio monitor and if you bought the studio uh, the Apple Studio itself, you can either get a stand or like I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my monitor on top of the Apple Studio. It fits beautifully and you don't have to worry about it scratching anything because there are some feet uh, underneath this monitor. So if we go ahead and take a look at both of these screens, they're all the way up uh, as far as brightness will go. I really don't, I can't tell a huge difference in the brightness and it is in my studio here and we're in front of a whole bunch of lights so uh, it is pretty bright but I'm going to turn down the lights and we're going to see if we can see any contrast differences or brightness differences. Now again these both are 5k monitors and they're both displaying the same exact image so we can see exactly how the color uh, and brightnesses are represented. They both look really nice. I will say the studio monitor has a touch more color from what I can see, but again, like I said, well, let's go ahead and turn off the lights and we'll see what we can see. So now just looking at these two monitors uh, in the dark like this, I really cannot tell uh, any sort of a difference in brightness differences, and that's probably because of the adaptive brightness has lowered the screen brightness. But if you notice on the iMac over here, it's about halfway bright, but on the studio display, it's actually only at a quarter brightness. So if we turn up these two displays all the way, the Apple Studio actually seems to be a little bit brighter if that's what you're going to do. I mean, when we had these both in bright light in front of the studio lights. I really couldn't tell a difference between the brightness, but in darkness, if you jack up uh, the brightness all the way, I can definitely tell you that the Apple Studio Monitor is a little bit brighter. So now I'm gonna open up this same image on both of the screens, and we're gonna take a look at the contrast differences. So I'm gonna go ahead and start both of these videos. Now me just looking at these displays here, there's really not a huge, huge difference in contrast ratio, but the Apple Studio definitely has less of a washed out black from what I can see here. Uh, if we look at the side here on the iMac, it definitely looks more washed out than it does on the Apple Studio display. It's not a huge difference but there is a slight noticeable difference between the two screens. The Apple Studio definitely is a little just a tad bit darker uh, than the iMac screen. Now as far as the picture quality goes I think both of these monitors are absolutely stunning. They both have beautiful pictures everything is nice and sharp and crisp and that's what I like when I'm editing my videos. Now as far as tilt goes they both seem to go uh, just the same angle. So as far as tiltability goes, they're pretty much uh, exactly the same uh, forward and back. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly the same range of motion on each one, so there's really no difference there. Now, like I said before, the Apple Studio display is visibly sitting lower than the iMac screen is. So the iMac screen starts at about six and a quarter inches, where the Apple Studio display uh, starts at about five inches. 
So again, if the iMac sat too low for you and you needed to raise it up, you're definitely gonna wanna raise up the Apple Studio display. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little sound comparison. As you can see, I have both volumes set up to about uh, 75%, and we're gonna play the exact same song, and we'll see if there's any sound differences. So I don't know if you guys could hear a sound difference, but I definitely could. The iMac was noticeably louder, but it seemed like all of the sounds were kind of jumbled together, whereas the Apple Studio was still loud. It wasn't as loud as the iMac, but it seemed like all the sounds, there was more separation uh, between the sounds, so there was more clarity. Uh, so if you're looking for clarity, the Apple Studio display is definitely uh, going to give you give you that, especially with that spatial audio that it can do. I definitely do think the speakers are perfectly fine on the Apple Studio for uh, video editing, listening to music, um, things like that. If you need more bass, uh, you're definitely going to need to get a subwoofer, an extra set of speakers for that, but it's perfectly fine if you don't want to spend any more money than you already have. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the difference in the webcams. I already know that the uh, webcam on the Apple Studio display is straight up garbage right now. I don't know if they can fix that with, with some software, I'm really hoping, but the camera on the iMac had a lower resolution, but it wasn't super horrible. So let's go and take a look at a comparison with that. So as we can clearly see, there is a huge difference between the iMac's uh, built-in webcam and the Apple Studio display webcam. If we look at the iMac, it's it's very clear. There's no graininess. Uh, the only thing is, is it's the resolution is a lot lower, but it's very clear. And then if we look at the Apple Studio, it looks like straight up trash. There's so much artifact and graininess to it. It's pretty much unusable for anything professional. You're just gonna, you know, be able to use it maybe for like a Teams meetings, Zoom calls. Uh, the resolution is definitely higher, but there's so much grain and artifact, it's, it's really bad. If they can get it to look as clear as the iMac, I think it would be definitely spot on. So hopefully some software can clear that up. So that was the comparison between the brand new Apple Studio versus the older 5K iMac screen. If you guys found the video useful or you found some information that helped you maybe in determining whether you wanna buy an Apple Studio, definitely make sure you let me know and hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.